Hill and I am an actor and drama facilitator here in Northern Ireland. Um, I've been doing it 20, 20 years now and I'm still learning, still growing and excited for the future. I auditioned for Turnover Productions seven years ago now for their production of The Belfast Tempest. A social media campaign had went online, right on Facebook, to find the role of Miranda um, for the production. And um, I had a lot of friends who were tagging me in the post. So I sent in a self tape at two o'clock in the morning um, and the deadline was 9 a.m. And kind of four auditions later, up against the cream of the crop of brilliant actresses in Northern Ireland, um, I had got the part of Miranda. Um, I was in my final year of uni at Queen's studying drama. Um, so it was kind of everything just coming together. You know, I was, I was graduating in drama and I had this amazing production to go into with actors and actresses that I've admired, admired in Northern Ireland for years. Um, so it was, it was really exciting, yeah. What was really interesting was when, when I was researching the, the Tempest, Miranda is the only female character within the script. And what I loved, what Terra Nova and Andrea did, was they casted women in male roles. And the power that came out of that was just like no other. So, you know, the, the, they talk about the representation of Miranda uh, as the male oppression within The Tempest and within the, the world that the, the play was set in. The fact that we had non-gender specific roles and that women were coming in at the forefront of these male dominated characters gave the play a new sense of meaning. So for me, when we came to the marriage of Miranda and Ferdinand, which I was playing opposite a, a beautiful man called Paris, um, traditionally we veered away from the script and our wedding ceremony became a cultural celebration. So it wasn't just us two on the stage getting married, we had gosh, probably about 400 other people on stage with us. And there was Indian dancing, and there was African drums. The community cast broke off and they did uh, a compilation of other Shakespeare texts and all came together. And for Miranda and Ferdinand, this was us watching our um, celebration of marriage and community right in front of our eyes. And I think, if I, if I remember that, I think that was an hour of the show. It was just this big celebration of culture that we got to watch. And um, it was dressing in the different attires for our, our, our wedding um, and people presenting gifts to us. Um, it was beautifully powerful, beautifully emotional. And that's where the inclusion came in of going, there's the growth from the original Shakespeare text to go and this is what it means for us today here in Belfast. This celebration is not only a marriage celebration but it's a celebration of community and art and that's what Andrea did and I just remember being absolutely blown away by it and seeing all the other performers and artists really feel that emotion of going gosh we are heard and we are heard here in Belfast, we are heard here in Northern Ireland and our, cultural ma our culture matters. I, mean, I started off in performing arts schools on Saturday afternoons and um, you know begging my mum and dad not to go on holiday during the summer so I could audition for their summer shows and just be, be a part of groups and teams and casts and when we when we came to Terra Nova, what I loved was that it was a full cast of 600. And within that, you had the professional cast, you had what was branded the community cast, you had the cast of drummers, the cast of musicians, the choirs. And 
it was so many cultural diverse groups coming together to put on this one production and as someone who had done community productions um, at a young age to now being part of a prof professional cast it was a great arc to go I've come I've come around I've come full circle however with this production of the Belfast Tempest it didn't matter what role you played whether that was on stage or whether that was behind the scenes or whether that was backstage each person under that roof of the T13 warehouse was vital to make that production happen and that's what I loved and that was so meaningful for me because it didn't matter whether you were in the one dance routine that started the show which was a big massive storm coming together or whether you were one of the scripted characters within the text. Each person in that room worked their socks off for this big massive production that was I still think is one of Northern Ireland's biggest Shakespeare productions and without one person it would not have happened and as I kind of grew up and progressed in the industry and I started teaching um, drama myself and directed here and there, it's something that I'm taking into my work with me of going, I want everyone to feel inclusive. I want accessibility. I want as many young performers to, to come into my drama class and feel that their needs are met, to feel that they are worth something, to feel that their confidence is growing and that they mean something to this work and to the arts. Um, and that's something I want to keep going and keep progressing with in the future. Um, I think Andrea and Terra Nova are great representations of that work and um, the inclusivity of artists and making sure that everybody has a voice and that everybody's heard. And that's something that for me as a young performer of getting this role going, I was heard. My voice meant something. My work meant something. I'm going to grab these socks and rock on. And I think Terranova is niche in what they do. And I know for me of being in one of their productions and then being an audience member in productions that have continued to happen after that, I'm, I'm always sitting with a big smile on my face because I'm going, the work is there, the, this is the work, they're sharing the work together on stage. Each person that I'm watching on that stage, they're growing and they've probably grown in so many ways that we don't see. Their characters grow, their, their artists' personalities grow. Um, and for Turn Over, the work is growing and it keeps getting better and better and better. And it makes me so excited as an artist here to go, what's happening next and what's going to happen in the future and who else are we going to see? Which is very exciting. words I think about when I think of Terra Nova are inclusion, growth and passion and for me those three words have rung out in my ear as being someone who has worked with Terra Nova. Those are three words that I've experienced. Those are three words that um, I've learnt in the room being with other artists, being with Andrea and all the amazing team at Terra Nova. And they are three words that are going to ring true and continue with me in my artistic journey wherever that may lead.